Hey guys, how are you going? My name is Dom and today I would like to demonstrate how to create the effect of live data updates using the Fetch API. So essentially we're going to be using the Fetch API in combination with a technique known as short polling. And short polling is fairly straightforward, it just means we're going to be asking the server for a fresh copy of data every set amount of seconds and that right there is going to be um, the source of our live data update. Okay, so in this case right here, we have a view count of currently zero. So we're going to be using um, this technique to update this view count every set amount of seconds. Okay, so that is the live data update. So um, to actually replicate a view count, I'm using PHP. Okay, so inside this PHP file, um, it's called viewcount.php and this will be the source of our data. So we're going to make a request to this file every few seconds okay and this file is going to return some JSON okay so I'll just uh, refresh the browser here on the actual viewcount.php file um, and we get here just a JSON string with view count as 22077 and as I refresh the view count um, keeps getting higher so I'm just using um, the amount of seconds since 1970 or Unix time and then just using that to replicate um, a certain amount of views. So um, in your case, you're going to replace basically this section right here with your actual, um, let's just say, database core or, you know, whatever source of data you're using. Um, basically just uh, re replace this with um, your own, uh, you know, situation. Okay. Um, so um, this will be the viewcount.php file. And inside the index HTML file, let's go ahead now and actually use short polling to retrieve this constantly updating view count and outputting it to the actual HTML page. Okay, so inside the JavaScript of this file um, right here, we are going to begin by declaring a function which will be the start of our live data update. So um, we're going to type out a function here. I'm going to call this one start live update. Okay, cool. So inside here, we're going to um, basically initiate the update or the live update. So um, once you call this function, it's going to be constantly updating the data. All right, so um, we're going to firstly just get a reference to the actual view count. So this tag right here, so we can just update it later on. So we can say, for example, um, a new constant called text view count equal to document dot get element by ID and pass in here view count. Okay, so now we have a reference to the actual um, strong tag. Okay, cool. So now this will be the main part of this video. So to achieve the effect of short polling, we're going to use the set interval function inside JavaScript. So we're going to type out set interval and this right here is going to run this function inside here every set amount of seconds. So um, let's just say every two seconds, we're going to update the data. Okay, so um, you might have guessed um, by now that all the code for the actual retrieval of data will be inside this function right here. So let's use a fetch API. So we're going to say fetch, we're going to fetch the view count.php file. And once that's done, we're going to um, take through the response object. And from there, we are using JSON here. So I'm just going to uh, return from this function response.json. Okay, so this will convert um, the uh, plain text JSON output right here into an actual uh, JavaScript object. Okay, so with the JavaScript object, we're going to call this one data. Okay, so data basically represents um, this, this right here. And we're just going to say uh, text view count. So the strong tag dot text content is then equal to data dot view count. Okay. And if anything went wrong during that whole situation, we're going to basically just console dot log the error. Okay. So this is the final completed code. We're making a request to the view count PHP file then converting it to JSON, uh, sorry, uh, converting it from JSON to a native JavaScript object called data, 
and then updating the uh, the text content of this strong tag right here to be um, the actual view count from the server and that is happening every two seconds okay so I can now save this and refresh my browser we're gonna wait two seconds right here and then bam we get the live data update or not I might actually call that function so um, let's just call this function um, when the page loads up so we're gonna say uh, basically document dot add event listener we're gonna add the DOM content loaded um, event here and once that's done we're going to say uh, start live update so basically this just means once the document has been fully loaded we're gonna then run the live update function so I can save this and refresh hopefully one last time wait two seconds and we get the view count constantly updating okay so um, you're going to want to replace uh, basically uh, parts of this code right here to match your own scenario you might want to uh, let's just say change the color of certain elements or the sizing or things like that uh, maybe a progress bar or something like that you know um, but the main part will be inside your actual server side file you're going to change basically this part right here to be the actual data retrieval of your actual data like a database call or something like that and that is how you can uh, achieve the effect of live data updates using the fetch api and short polling in javascript thanks for watching and i'll see you later